to my latest miner has landed and honestly I'm pretty ecstatic because getting this thing up and running ASAP has been a top priority. So if you're wondering, I ordered one Ant Miner D3 and it was kind of from batch 1.5. It wasn't the first batch, but it was in the same shipping period as the first batch. For you guys wondering, uh, Bitmain doesn't give me this miner for free. These are just honest opinions. So anyone who says some stupid comment like that, you're obviously wrong. So let's talk about it. So per the calculations, this miner is supposed to make like 110 bucks or so a day. Boom, here's what to mine and what it says. And in my experience, I found what to mine.com to be rather extremely accurate. The runtime on my Ant Miner D3, boom, is about two hours. And the earnings calculated in my dashboard on ProAshing are about $8, which would equate to $4 an hour, which I think comes out to like 96 bucks a day. Double check. It's like I went to class once in a while. It's 96 bucks, guys, come on. Apparently, there's two models. There's the 15G and the 17G, apparently. I haven't really seen much on the 15G, but the 15 is what was originally marketed and what I technically bought, which is 15 and a half giga hash a second at 1200 watts from the wall. The model I received is, as shown, hashing a 17 and a half giga hash. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm actually really excited to watch Bitmain put these other ASIC companies out of business. Okay, a Bitmain monopoly, oh my God, yeah. Whatever, man. The bottom line is, is that with like those IBLink miners, I wasn't even allowed to order one. Their prices were ridiculous. The group buys went up and up and up in price. And I was like, honestly, so skeptical of everything. I was like, is this even a scam anyway? And you want to talk about Bicle Miner, talk about one of the worst businesses to deal with ever. They're rude. Their system that they create from going to email to Skype to email is the most scam just prone setup ever and it's no reason no like surprise that you know I've seen at least a dozen or more people lose thousands and thousands of dollars because of that because they make it so easy to exploit and then pin idea I mean cool I'm glad they're making a minor I'm not glad it's ten thousand dollars I mean honestly fuck off like that's just ridiculous I don't mean to talk shit and be so negative, but these are my opinions and you're more than welcome to drop your opinions below. But the bottom the bottom line is is that Bitmain is the only company to give an average dude like me even a realistic opportunity to own an ASIC miner, you know, in this day and age at a somewhat reasonable price. And granted, the first batch of D3s were pretty marked up. But in reality, depending how these numbers go, I should ROI my D3 within one month. And that's pretty exciting. So you could even say no matter what happens from that point, this machine's free. So it could make me two bucks for the rest of my life and it was still a good investment at that point. I, I think some people have an unrealistic expectation of ROI because they've kind of been spoiled by previous ROIs in the past. I mean, I'm kind of, from an outside point of view, business point of view, if you make your money back within a year, that's a good investment, all things considered, in my opinion. So that's why I have this big GPU mining farm. If you want to check it out, here's the video on it. But enough of me ranting and opinions and things you may or may not care about. Let's talk about it. I've got the 17G model, it's 17 and a half giga hash. It's pulling 900 to 1,000 watts from the wall. I haven't checked the actual amp output. I've got the amp meter here, but I mean, I was just excited to get a video up. Again, it's running for about two hours. I'm making about four bucks an hour, so it's 96 bucks a day. I'm using ProHashing.com, which is a multi-coin mining pool. Off the top of my head, I think the fee's 5%. And uh, a lot of people are taking their uh, miners, their D3s to NiceHash to use their mining pool. And then there's also just the Dash pools. Um, you know, I haven't really experimented too much with this and that. It's gonna be a little tougher just having one miner. There's gonna be a lot of D3s landing right now for the next couple of days and getting online and then a couple of the poor guys who messed up didn't get a PSU and they're gonna to have to wait and that sucks and would drive me crazy. If you're wondering uh, what PSU I have here, I'll drop a link to something similar below. I don't remember the model off the top of my head. It's just kind of like a generic uh, server Chinese style PSU, nothing crazy. Uh, just what I have, it works, no problem. I ran my L3 Plus off of this, if you remember that. And if you want to check out my L3 Plus initial review video, this is what it looks like. Click on the channel, subscribe below. I'm going to have a lot of videos 
on this Antminer D3 Plus. I'm gonna go over setup and some pools and my earnings over the next day, week, whatever. Um, so I'm excited to have this and be able to showcase this product for you guys and see. I mean, is the hype really worth it? Was this worth basically a three grand investment? Because we're gonna find out together and I sure hope so because I'm, uh, I've acquired a lot of equipment through the means of credit. And with credit, if it doesn't work out, you're absolutely screwed. So with that said, guys, please make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Guys, hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, I'll see you next time. If not, well, just don't come back, dude, whatever. And where's Tails? I forgot to bring her in the video. Oh, wait.